Can't wait for my shift to be over, so I can relax like a guest. Hello, welcome to Hotel Paradiso. You may continue inside to the main desk if you need to check in for your stay, or feel free to browse the shops along the promenade. Let me know if I can answer any questions you may have, or help you in any other way. If you have business with Oliver, you'll first need to speak with Kiwi, the board's executive assistant. You'll find them if you take the elevator up to the top floor and go down the hallway. Always feel free to ask if you have more questions. I'm here to help if you need it. If I could just stay here forever. It's lovely here. Need something? <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop in Convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to aggro with me. Okay, take a look. shopping. Not much of a beach person, but everyone talks about this place. What's so happening, darling? Don't stay away too long. I don't think any place could be more perfect. Hello! Can I get you something to drink? Everything here is a little more expensive than I expected. Yes, that's how they get you. Guests way, but we're always here if needed. Between you and me, I'm kind of glad most of the execs never show up to work. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. If the Paradiso board is busy in a meeting, you can always count on me to relay your message. Oh. <laughs> Part of the job, I guess. Gotta put on a smile to keep it, you know? And it helps for those rare opportunities I get to talk them out of some of their crazier ideas. Like, did you know they wanted to dye the entire ocean on this planet pink so it would look more magical or something? They almost did it too, until I reminded Balam that guests won't appreciate the water dyeing their swimsuits funny colors. <laughs> funny it took that and not killing off all the ocean life, but I take what I can get. At least Balam's there to be the reasonable one. Take care. Enjoy your stay. Knowing you're in our capable hands.
Hi there. I've got a lot on my plate right now, but I'm happy to help if you need it. People were a little freaked out around here, understandably. It looks so different, and it's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. But then, nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one could communicate with it. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be... bad for business. I can't speak for anyone else, but I've got a pretty high-pressure job working as the executive assistant to the Paradiso board. You can imagine, dealing with a team of execs, trying to manage all of their schedules and their other whims. But it pays well, and they give me a nice executive suite at the hotel to live in. So, it's not all bad. Free access to all the resort's amenities after work helps, too. <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical C-level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them, because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I'm here for you, my love. Unless you're here to talk business, I'm afraid I can't spare much time. You're lucky I'm not like the other board members. Lazing about the beaches without a care in the universe. I've been working on a new marketing slogan. Don't just imagine paradise. Live it in Paradiso. I don't really get paid to chat with guests. If it's not important, bring it up with Kiwi. Not quite. We just don't answer to the Freestyle Collective or the United Colonies. Makes things easier. We don't pay any taxes. We don't need to follow their laws. All the benefits, none of the drawbacks. Ah, no one mind, because half the politicians and other big shots love vacationing here. Works for everyone. We, the Paradiso Group, bought the rights to this planet years ago with the intent of turning it into the biggest and best resort in the universe. To that end, I'd say we've succeeded. As such, no other leisure enterprises may operate on the planet without renting land from us. But as you can see, None can afford such a deal. <laughs> no, of course not. There are several more. We're just the ones who show up day to day. The others spend their time lazing on the beach or gallivanting off-world. Doesn't bother me, though. Less cooks in the kitchen means I get to make all the big decisions around here. Seems to be working out for us just fine. I am. And you must be the... Diplomat, Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given the circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> We run a premier resort getaway here. We can't have our guests concocting stories about some budgy old ship hanging around up there. As it is, we've had to reroute our luxury liners around the other side of the planet on entry so no one sees it. It's bad for business. We need to nip this in the bud and take care of it before the tourists catch on and cause a scene. You'd be surprised what people fall for. Locally sourced island fruit essences, for instance. It's just the same old fruits brought over from Earth ages ago, but we get nearly ten times a market for them. But you're right, no one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. So tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship, besides scaring people away?
I'd say you're full of it and might have been watching too many movies. Now, instead of wasting my time, want to tell me what it really is? That's so. I imagine some sort of old pre-collapse colony ship thinking they've got a claim here. Well, they don't. And that ship's presence is bad for business. We need it to bugger off ASAP. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough... Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No. Much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Thanks for the offer, but my answer is still no. Too much risk involved, and if it goes wrong, then the problem can quickly get out of hand. If they settle here, it'll be under our conditions, not theirs. Sorry. I have no idea. Because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. But, it's a wonder that old ship made it all the way here in such a relatively short time. Must have really been pushing themselves. An engineer friend of mine told me once that the reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. Of course, their engineers must have taken great care not to push it too far. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. But who would do such a thing? Don't even think for one moment that this would be acceptable behavior. You can't just blow up their ship. That's insane. Guess we're tabling it for now. Let's circle back around ASAP, though. I'm proud to say that revenue is up and costs if are down. If you've heard about us elsewhere, chances are it's because of me. Ah, oh, my day just got a whole lot brighter. I... I hope it isn't something I've done. Please, hurry back. <laughs>